All right, so signing day is a little bit different nowadays that uh, the early signing period um, has come and gone, but uh, we were able to sign 23 of these kids um, in an early signing period, which is huge for us. So, you know, we, we signed seven kids today, um, extremely proud of our coaches first and foremost. You know, some of our main factors in recruiting this year is we wanted to get uh, smart kids, number one. I wanted kids with, with high academics. Um, and then two, number two, we wanted uh, tough kids, tough kids that uh, have a lot of character um, that will come in here and, and will compete right away. Um, anytime you bring 30 new kids into a program, I think uh, that you're going to expect a bunch of them to come in and contribute right away. Uh, we kick off spring ball Monday, um, so which is a really quick turnaround. We're going to get our spring ball in, everything in before spring break this year. And then, uh, which is going to give us a little bit more time to lift and, and spend some time in the weight room, which I think this team needs as a whole. I think we need to get a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger up front um, for next year. Uh, we lo lost a, a couple key components on the defensive line, and um, we knew we had to replace both of our defensive ends this year. Um, so that was a huge need, a huge emphasis for us. Uh, thought we did that with some junior college kids. So we'll add those guys in the defense line. They'll have to play, you know, the first game against UTSA uh, in the Alamo Dome. You'll see all those, all three of those kids go out there and get significant reps for us. Um, so it'll be key for us to develop them over the course um, of the next six or seven months. Um, then the next thing we wanted to focus on is we want to keep some of this local talent here in San Antonio. Um, we signed four kids from San Antonio. Uh, really excited about all four of them. Um, you know, I, I, I think as time goes, um, you know, that's what we want to do. We want to shoot for anywhere from four to six kids per year from the city and, and then even take that further and take it into Central Texas. Uh, when you add all Central Texas together, we signed seven. So, um, like I said, when I got this job, I, I think Central Texas is under-recruited. I think there's a lot of great athletes in the city of San Antonio, in Austin, in uh, San Marcos, all those, all those areas right there. So um, excited about, about keeping some local talent around. Um, I think that'll help us continue to, to draw better crowds and, and have people in San Antonio come and cheer for some of the hometown kids. And so really excited about what, we're, what we were able to put together. Um, all together, we signed 16 kids on defense. Uh, that's seven defensive backs. Um, a bunch of them are mix and match guys, have the, the length and the size and the speed to play either corner or safety. So uh, we'll do a, a good job at getting them in the right spot when they get here this summer. Uh, one linebacker, um, then five defensive ends and two defensive tackles. So as we talked about, the, the biggest thing on defense that, that I thought we lacked last year was speed. So that was a big emphasis for us this year was to add some speed. Um, offensively, we signed 14 kids. Uh, signed one quarterback, uh, two running backs, five wide receivers, one athlete, and, um, and five offensive linemen. So uh, pretty equally spread out right there. Offensive lines all back next year. Um, five wide receivers. Um, you know, this is a, a, a position we felt like we were small at last year. Um, we needed to get bigger bodies in here this year. So uh, we signed, you know, 6'1", 6'3", 6'4", and 6'5", this year at wide receiver. So uh, we wanted to add some length to this group um, and, and some kids that can run. And, um, you know, the, one of the steals of the class, in my opinion, I've gotten multiple texts this morning about is, uh, is Camden Perry from Longview, Texas, a kid that led the state in receiving yards, won a state championship, um, 1,900 yards receiving, um, you know, almost 20 touchdowns, a kid that, that's a tough kid out of East Texas from a great program. I think he has the size and strength to step in and, and you know, fill a void that we'll have by us losing Cody Edwards and Phillip Baptiste. Both of those guys were 1,000-yard receivers for us last year. So the quarterback that we signed is, is a kid that um, I think has the ability to, to someday uh, be – be the best quarterback in, at the FCS level. Um, obviously, he's going to have his work cut out with him, competing with, with John Copeland coming back after his freshman season. But this kid is, uh, is a coach's kid from a smaller school, um, you know, out by Stephenville. Didn't get a lot of traffic from college recruiters going in there. Um, but he's a kid that, that's a winner in everything he does. Great basketball player, scratch golfer. Um, and, and like I said, I, I love 
coaching coaches kids. He's a true student of the game. Um, spins the ball as well as anybody we had at camp this summer. And um, I think of camp, you know, we had 10 guys that are going to Division One different places this summer, and, um, and we had him graded as the number one guy coming out of camp uh, this past summer. So really, really excited to get uh, Kevin Yeager here this summer and, uh, and have him push Copeland and Brophy uh, throughout the summer and fall camp.